along, show me your tips, and I'll sing you a song. And just so you know, this is probably the worst song to walk right in the middle of because you didn't hear the description. I'm just saying, you know, because I don't want you to think ill of me because I'm a much better person than this. Show me your tips, and I'll sing it slow. I'll sing you a song, some are out in the lawn, singing rock and roll. I sing you some buff, my damn some CCR. Sing it on the street and local bars. Show me your tips, and I'll sing you a song. Yeah, I'll sing you a song about walking in Memphis, to having a piece of the American pie. Sing you a song about the back of the bay, or a song about the time of your life. Sing you a song when you find it gone. On a day to see the way too long. Show me your tips. And I'll sing you a song. I'll sing you a song about Wheelie and Hank. I'll sing you a song about the bees I drank. I'll sing you a song about the Rocky Road. I'll sing you some blues and a little soul. Show me your tips. And I'll sing you a song. Yeah, I'll sing you a song about walking in Memphis. Having a piece of the American pie. I'll sing you a song about the back of the bay. Or a song about the time of your life. Sing you a song when the smile is gone On a day that seems to wait too long Show me your tips And I'll sing you a song Show me your tips And I'll sing you a song See, it's harmless. Harmless. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah. I'm a religious person. Well, wait till you see what my wife's face was after I wrote that song. Yeah. It's like, really? Yeah, really. Yeah. And she's like, nobody will like it. After I did it for a show, like, it's like, okay, they'll like it. Yeah. She didn't feel so good about society after that. Oh, so it was a lot of fun. Now, this next song, by the way, um, I wrote this song. I go to Nashville probably at least once a year, sometimes twice a year to go and play a few shows. I'll be going down in November. I'm uh, doing a, a tour to Florida on my way to Florida. I'm doing a, a stop in Nashville to play four or five shows. Well, anyway, first time I went to Nashville, of course, first time anyone goes to Nashville, nobody gets to get paid to play anywhere. You pretty much just hope you got to get on stage and play a few songs, you know? So I was sitting at this place called the Commodore Grill, which is one of the kind of popular places for open mics, that kind of thing. And, um, I'm sitting there waiting like so many other songs. There's tons of them sitting there, you know. We're all kind of drinking and whatever, and knowing that half of us aren't going to get up to sing or more. And so while we're sitting there, I'm giving this guy next to me crap. I have no idea who he is, right? And I suddenly I had to go to the restroom, right? So I told this guy, hey, you know, uh, I got to go to the bathroom and get a move so I can go because we're all crammed in there. And as I go past him, he goes, hey, I bet you. And while you're in the bathroom, you can't write a song and then perform it on stage. And I was like, how much are we talking here? Because I knew darn well. I wasn't going to make any money that night. So I said, how much are we talking? He's like, 10 bucks. I get, oh, you're right. So I grabbed my guitar and went into the bathroom. So I'm sitting in the stall with my guitar. And I start writing this song. And the weirdest thing in Nashville, this is not uncommon. So, yeah, right. So I'm sitting there, and I'm writing, and I get to the chorus, and I'm like, whoo, hey, this is sounding pretty good, right? And as I get to the chorus, I start singing it, and the guy next to me in the stall next to me starts singing harmony. And I thought to myself, if I did this in the local Walmart back home, I'd get arrested. But in Nashville, it's common. So, believe it or not, this is my song that I won 10 bucks on. And I sang it on stage at the Commodore Grill for my first trip to Nashville. And believe it or not, it's called My First Trip to Nashville. And it goes like this. Song. I wrote it in the bathroom and I hope you sing along. I sang it 
on the front porch and I sang it down the hall And I sang it in the bedroom and my wife didn't mind it all And I stayed in here in Nashville in this little old hotel And I said open the door to the Commodore cause I'm gonna give a hell It's my first trip in Nashville and I'm singing for y'all but I really don't mind at all Cause I've walked the streets of Broadway And if a little honk and tongue What I love about Nashville Is everybody loves so I'm on my first trip to Nashville I wrote a brand new song I was singing it up this corner And I hope you sing along I sang it in the bathroom With the guy the other stall And I said only here in Nashville Cause everybody sang along It's my first trip to Nashville Street, bro, a little what I love about Nashville is everybody loves the song. It's my first trip to Nashville. Oh, it's my first trip to Nashville. It's my first trip to Nashville. Well, what I love about Nashville is everybody loves the song. Oh. <laughs> It's funny because I, that next time I went to Nashville, I had a, I, I got to like talk to three or four different producers, you know, and I sang them my songs that I've already sang for you guys tonight. Some of these cool ones, you know. Like, we well, got anything else? I got one. I sang him this song. He goes, "Are you serious? Come on, don't you want a song about a Nashville artist writing a song in the bathroom?" It's like, no. That's as far as it went. So, yeah. So you, this may be the only place you hear it because Nashville people don't want to hear a song about writing a song in the bathroom. Just hear them. Exactly, what do they do? They don't even know what good cheese tastes like. Oh, yeah. Or a good broad. You, you go next time you bring some cheese, some brats, and boom. You know what they always ask for? You know what they always ask for? New Glarus beer. Spotted cow, yeah, bring some spotted cow. Like, if I bring spotted, I probably have a number one hit if I brought spotted cow. Yeah, remember that in the fall when you go down there, a bunch of spotted cow, put a big yeah. case there. You'll be but my Wisconsin morals place. say no. <laughs> that would be wrong. Yeah, but yeah, it'll work only if you sell it. Oh yeah, that's right. As long as I'm drinking it with them. <laughs> All right, well next time. Oh. Uh, well, I got time for a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. Well, how the hell, how do you end this show? I'm sorry. Here's a song by Santana. Why isn't that something? Now, I do this Santana song, Black Magic Woman, and I do it not because I'm an amazing guitarist, because I'm not, all right? But I like the song quite a bit, and everybody's like, well, what are you gonna do? You know, because it's like, it's, Santana's like this amazing guitarist. I, the best thing you can do when trying to emulate a great guitarist is don't. Yes, I agree with that. So, rather than embarrass you with my unamazing guitar skills, I'm going to play Black Magic Woman my way. <laughs> Got a Black Magic Woman. Got a Black Magic Woman. I got a Black Magic Woman. Got me so blind I can't see. I got a Black Magic Woman. Turn your back on me, baby. Turn your back on me, baby. Don't turn your back on me, baby. Stop messing around with your tricks. Don't turn your back on me, baby. Might as well pick up my magic stick. Bada bada da wow. Got this spell on me, baby. Got this spell on me, baby. Yeah, got this spell on me, baby. 
and a stone. I need you so bad, woman, believe you know me. Got a black magic woman. Got a black magic woman. I got a black magic woman. Got me so blind I can't see. Short, because I didn't have that 20 minute guitar solo in the middle. Oh, you guys have been so fantastic. Thank you for hanging out and enjoying my music. I really appreciate it. And uh, hey, if you do like it, make sure you take a card. You can refer me to other places. Like I say, I play all over. Um, so yeah, and I'd, I'd love it to play for you someplace else. We go to other places to listen to music too. So. Yeah, do that, that'd be great. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hardest part is trying to figure out how to end the show. What to do at the end, rather than just screw around like I usually do. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you guys, I really appreciate it. That's more pressure now, I've come up with something really good now. Oh, Neil Young. How about Neil Young? Yeah, that's good enough. Yes. Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown. We're just putting the piano away. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Take a look at my life I'm a lot like you were Oh man, take a look at my life I'm a lot like you were Oh man, take a look at my life 24 and there's so much more Living alone in paradise Makes me think of two Love lost such a cost Give me things that won't get lost Like a coin that won't get tossed Roll it home to you
I, I shoot you to say just because you're all drunk. Because there's a lot of a lot of wine going on here. So, well, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, you know, look me up if you're from Wisconsin. It's gonna happen. Hey, I'm a sculptor part time. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. That's not really. Um, <laughs> You got a webpage with your future stuff on it? Yeah, uh, I will have stuff with my future stuff. I'm working on the album now, so. Oh, my wife won't let me get married again. Uh, only one time. Yeah, the dates that I play yeah, are on there. And it's uh, scottwilcox.net. And um, I got lots of cards here. Take plenty because I can make more. Just so you know. Oh, yeah. Sorry, and they got my face on them. Sorry. I think it's it's a new one, but it didn't get much better. I mean, it's smaller, but uh, it's only so much you can do, you know. So, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it.